It's going to take a while for you to learn everything that Manage Database can do. But we want to cover some of the basics other than just creating fields and putting options on fields. We created all of our fields and we created our housekeeping fields and we did the basics on type and things like that and options, but we want to learn more about what you can do in this dialog to make it work better for you. So let's start by showing you how to change the field type. We already changed the name of a field, but let's change the field type. Let's just go to, let's say, address 2. All you do is you click on it up here. The name appears down here. That's where we change the name. And then you come to the type and let's say, let's change it to a date. I mean, this doesn't make any sense, but let's do it. We'll hit the change button, and it will give you a warning message here. This warning message says if you have any data in there, it's going to mess it up. So don't worry about it because we have no data in here. So we'll click OK, and you'll see it's now a date field. Now it's different when it comes to options. When we go into options and hit, let's say, creation date, and click OK, it's already saved on that field. There's no changing necessary. The change is only necessary for the field name or the field type options just automatically get saved. So remember that, that might be a little bit confusing. So let's take a look at some other things. Let's delete a field. And let's, before we delete this field, understand the ramifications. If you delete a field, it's gone completely. It's gone from the schema, it's gone from the whole database, never to come back. So be very careful when you're deleting fields. You know, you can delete a field off a layout as we saw in the last section. We can add fields to the layout and of course delete them off the layout. And they're not gone. It's here in Managed Database where they're actually gone forever. This is the guts of the system. When you're looking at a layout like we did in the last section, that's simply just a representation of that field. You can have many layouts with many representations of the fields, and if you delete them, it doesn't do anything. It's just like an alias or a shortcut in the system software. You can delete that alias or shortcut, but the original is still there. This is the original in here. So when we hit delete, it's going to give you an error message. Permanently delete. So be careful. Make sure you want to do this. We're going to actually hit delete here, and it's gone. It's now gone forever. Well, not completely. We have one chance to get it back, and we'll do that in a little while. But let's go ahead and try duplicating a field. Let's duplicate our timestamp create. And this might be helpful if you're, let's say, creating your timestamp mod. It's got a lot of the same options, such as the name similar. It's got the same field type. It's got a slightly different option here, but it might help you to just come in here and say timestamp mod 1, hit change, and now you have a similar field. And you just come in here and you go, OK, well, I don't want creation. I want modification and then you're done, that might be faster. In a lot of cases, you might have many more options. It really makes it much faster. So again, we're going to delete that field too. We don't need it. Or in fact, we actually don't have to delete it. You'll see what happens when we cancel this Manage Database dialog. We can actually go back to where it was when we started off in this for the first time. If you want to move a field around, it's very easy. Just click and hold down on this little up and down arrow. And you see the little blue line. You just drop it where you want it, and it's moved. And what happened was it changed to custom order. What we were on before was creation order. That's the order in which you created these fields. You see the timestamp mod is at the end. If we change the field name, you notice that it alphabetizes them. If we change to field type, it orders them by field type, text, date, and then timestamps. If we go into custom order, well, that's the order we rearrange. We can rearrange them in any order we want. We can put timestamp mod up here, and it'll stay there when we come back to custom order. So you want to become familiar with these view bytes. We could often forget what you called a field. And so going to creation order, you just scroll to the bottom, and there it is. If it's a brand new field that you just created. Field name is really handy because, in fact, it's my favorite view, because you can quickly get to where you want to go. Let's say I want to get to uh, the name field. I just type the N on the keyboard, or NA, and it goes right to that field for you. And that's really handy. Plus, it's important to note that this view by reflects all dialogs. So in anywhere where you're listing a field, like putting a field on the layout, or anywhere where you have a list of fields and you want to look through them, well, the order in which they appear in that dialog is the order in which you have managed database set up in. So I often leave it at field name in alphabetical order. And if I change it, I go back to field name after I'm done, just because it's easier when you're looking at other dialogs. You also notice that you can do the same sorting here. Just click on these. In fact, you click on them several times, and they sort of ascending and descending. Now, this does something a little bit different. This toggles between your options and your comments. Remember that comment we did on the company field? I prefer the options myself, but it's nice to see your comments sometimes. You know, you never know what you're going to do. Then, 
here's this print button. Don't forget that it's here. Really handy. If you want to print out all your fields, you actually have to select all of them. So if you want to print out, let's say, just a couple of fields, you highlight those fields and then hit print. If you want all of them, well, then you have to select all of them by you know holding down the shift key. Or if you know the keyboard command, it's Command A or Apple A on the Macintosh or Control A on Windows. And once you have them all selected, then you hit print. Otherwise, you're going to be surprised it'll only print out one if you just have one selected right now. And don't forget, we covered this earlier, but this is where you specify what table you're looking at, what fields you're looking at is specified by that. Because once you get many tables, you're going to need to switch between those fields to modify them separately. So get familiar with this dialog so you can really use it efficiently. It'll really help you a lot.